Trainer, how important is it? Former running back, running back coach, to have a have a good trainer doing something on Clint Haggard. Well, so you got to have a trainer. You know, it's very important. You got to, you know, because you get aches, you get bruised up during the year. You know, uh, at the end of my career, I used to get be in the training room every day, just maintenance as far as keeping your body up. So that's very important. You do a pretty good job of taking care of your guys. Clint? Yes, yeah, he does. Yeah. He does a great job. So we're staying healthy. We're not so healthy right now, but for the most part, we've been healthy. 20 carries from Marcus uh, last game, you know, about what you what you want or is looking for a little more or as many as it takes to win. Uh, and, um, you know, we try to get some other guys in. Uh, yeah. Brandon got in there. Baker got in there, did a good, really good job. But as much as it takes, depends on how the game goes. Did Kenny have a setback with his wrist? It seemed like Thursday he was doing all right and then Saturday he didn't play. I don't know. You know, I don't know that he was doing okay at okay. any point in time. You know, he, I think he's been healing up, but it's just healing slowly. So uh, that's probably a question for Clint, but, uh, you know, I don't I don't really know as to if it got better and then it got worse. But gotcha. I just know come game game time he wasn't ready. Do you expect him to be ready Saturday? I don't know for sure. You know, he's out here practicing, though. So, you know, that's the thing that's important. He's not wearing, wearing a yellow jersey. He's out here trying to catch balls, doing all that stuff, and he's catching them pretty well. It just depends on how he feels as he goes through practice, get it banged on, all kinds of stuff. So we'll see. I think it's a game time decision. Would you consider Brandon the definite number two right now if Kenny can't go, or is it still open between him and Eric? It's still open. It just depends on, you know, Brandon did well last week. Eric did, did some good things. Um, it just depends on how the game goes. You know, I think they both will play. Is there such thing as a big play mentality, a big a big play player? Is it you know something that sets a guy apart that makes him? Is it, it you know something in a guy that makes him be able to rise to the occasion in big plays, or is that just good players make big plays? And that's, that's kind what of I think. Of I think if you're a good player, you're always prepared to make a big play, and you don't know if it's going to be a big play. It could be right. the third play of the game. It could be the last play, but just be ready to to make that play when it comes your way. So you know, and that's usually a guy that's always pressing his opponent and uh, when, the, when the play comes his way he's ready for it. How much do y'all preach that be ready because you know any any time you touch the ball could be that play? Always yeah. you know I will always do with my guys and Coach Spurrier always talks about you know being ready and playing that play out throughout the whole play through the echo of the whistle and trying to do the things the right way. Yeah. Obviously in two games last year against Auburn you guys really struggled to run the football but obviously they're, they're a lot different this year defensively. What do you see compared to the Auburn defense last year versus the Auburn defense this year? Oh, I mean, I, I see some young guys, but I see some very athletic guys. Very athletic. They hit hard. They make some plays. Um, you know, and that's that's the biggest thing for us. We know that we're we're, we're still facing yeah. a tough defense. Yeah. They don't have all the seniors they had last year, but they still got some guys that are very athletic, very good. Does Marcus like the matchup versus Michael? being the top two uh, recruits from a, from a couple of years ago? I don't know. He hadn't said a word about that. You know, I think the most important thing for him is helping this team win in whatever way that may be. Coach, Coach you spoke to Brandon Wilds a second ago. He seems to have a pretty high football IQ for a true freshman. Is that something that you picked up on? And, uh, you know, does that help him? Has that helped him pick up the offense so far? Well, yeah, he's, he, he does have a good football IQ. He understands the protections, um, which is something that's very important. And you usually don't have freshmen, you know, have the ability to do that. But um, he's done well with it. So we'll see. You know, under pressure, you got to be able to do those things. And he's made some plays. So I can, you know, we'll see if we can make some plays in the game next week. Was Eric pretty excited to finally get back on the field and get a carry after after two years? I think he was. Yeah. He was he was excited about it. And uh you know, he looked pretty good. It was a it was a short yardage carry. He had two uh, there, pretty close together, and he did a good job. Biggest thing, you just worry about him not having good pad leverage, and he had really good pad leverage, so he did well. How would you describe the flow of the offense so far this year? How would I describe it? Um, it's been pretty good. You know, I think at times every position had mistakes here or there, and I think that's the thing that we're trying to sure up. Just you know that everybody's on the same page on one play and everybody's playing the way they're supposed to play on one play and then go to the next play. So, you know, that's the key for, for us, and that's the thing, that's the thing that I tell my backs. You know, we got to do our job, whatever it is, on that one play for our offense to be successful. With so many, many guys coming back from last year, you kind of surprised that maybe everybody's not on the same page as much as you'd like? No, every every season is its, its own season, you know. So you have guys that last year, you know, made some plays or did this or that, but you have to, you know, this is a new season, so you have to do those things together. And, um, you know, the most important thing is just, you know, studying and knowing exactly what we're going to do 
you know, versus our opponent on every single play, every single down and distance, whatever it may be, situational, whatever it may be. You see this as, as a big Last stage. question you for see this as a big stage for Marcus being CBS national TV game on Sunday? I don't even think about it that yeah. way. You know, the way I think about it is we're going in to play a football game versus all, you know, and, and it's not, you know, Marcus's game. He'd say the same thing. It's a, it's a team team thing. It's for our team, you know, to go out there and play the best that we can play. Have you had to scold him for the two penalties he got last game? Sure. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just like, you know, all the players. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's important. You can't have a holding. You can't have a block in the back. So, you know, that's the things that we talked about. And he knew right at the time it happened. You know, those are the things that can't we have can't have penalties and setbacks. So.